I've been fighting with the type of reads that I've been using for a while. Um, so I consulted some charts and whatnot. And uh, these are a little bit softer than the ones I currently play. Um, so I'm hoping that they can get me a little, little bit closer to the type of uh, sound I'm hoping to get. I started to notice um, since I've been shooting a lot of um, uh, shooting a lot of content recently um, that I have to play really loud and my sound has a lot of fuzz in it until I start playing really loud and part of that might be because my reads are too stiff so I want to fix that. A way to solve that might be changing the way that I actually put air through the horn or it may just be um, I just need to change setups all together and play something that's a little bit easier to play. Um, like I said, I started to notice that uh, my ears were, they weren't ringing a lot, but it was just, it's a, it's a small room in here and I'm playing pretty loud. And I started to notice on a couple of the gigs uh, that have trumpet players on there that, you know, normally trumpet is normally super loud and my alto is like louder than a lot of trumpet players. So it just, it got me thinking that maybe Maybe I'm working too hard to get the sound I'm getting. Um, so that's that's the goal with these is, you know, hopefully on the scale of, you know, read strength of between all the different brands, these were a little bit less than what I normally play. Now, what I normally play is, um, I have them in a box over here. Pull out some cord here. Now, what I normally play are these guys, Java Red uh, 2.5s, um, the filed version. I really like them. Um, every other Reed brand that I try just doesn't give me what I'm looking for, and those guys are fantastic in that regard. They're so big. Jeez. Look at this bear cub. Yeah. She doesn't know what's going on. Unfortunately, they don't make a mid-grade between two and a half and two. If they did, that would be awesome. The first time I ever played a Durga, I played it on one of these with a number two read, and it was just like awesome. But the problem is when I start playing really hard or trying to play really high, the twos would cut out, so I stepped up to two and a half. So now, yeah, I gotta work really hard to get the kind of sound. I don't know if you may have noticed in the videos where I'm teaching lines and whatnot, like when I'll stop to take a breath, I have to like take a huge breath and then, you know, I'm starting to get like neck veins and stuff popping out and whatnot. So, you excited? You excited to hear me make noise? Nope. All right, let me scoot you guys out. Yeah, this is Trixie. You wanna say hi, Trix? Say hi, Trix. Yeah. If I haven't said it before, uh, you should definitely get one of these. It's called a Rejuvenate. Basically, you put uh, original Listerine in there. There's like a sponge and stuff in there. And it keeps your reeds uh, nice and uh, humidified and whatnot. They don't warp anymore. They don't dry out. So they always stay in like a ready to play state. Those reeds like just totally ready to go. They're magnetic. So you can mount them on your music stand or whatever. And Sarabi. I got cat hair all over my hands from handling those guys. And on my face, geez. Alright, that's a little, uh, little vibe for what the what I sound like on the Javas. I don't feel like this read is particularly stiff, but I can't play that quiet on it. Um, I wish I could. The goal is to be able to get the same kind of tone regardless of volume level. Just have like a consistent, uh, real clean, pretty sound the whole time. And you hear there's like a ton of hiss in there, which is what I'm trying to get rid of. So um, let me try out some of these plastic covers. Am I supposed to get these wet? They're like coated and stuff. Maybe that means they don't warp or they don't dry out or whatever. Okay. All 
Oh, they definitely feel different. They feel like they're kind of thin. They have like a weird buzz to them. I don't know how I feel about them. I definitely don't have to work as hard. I don't know how it is on the Altissimo though. Pete Chris Lieb uses these. I really like his sound on tenor. Such a cool sound. One of my favorites, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. Uh, they seem a little soft. Let me try another one. I feel like I would just wear them out after one gig. Yeah, see this read is like way harder than the other one. I wonder if this is gonna get me going down the road of playing a synthetic read. This one is a serious, this read is a serious paint peeler. God, it's making my ears ring. That's pretty loud. I'm not mad at it though. Ugh, that one's terrible. Uh, it's grown on me a little bit. It's kind of it's kind of harsh. I could see it on like a darker mouthpiece that it would be pretty cool. Can't get this one to crack. I'm just gonna play the whole box. It's only five of them. Oh, this one's horrendous.
yeah, it's really loud in here. All right, last one. Then I'll go back to, uh, to my other guys and we'll see. Ugh, cat hair in the mouthpiece. like a like a they're really bright it's okay I could see why it would be useful in like guitar band settings because I gotta keep you know staring at read charts and Finding the right, finding the right strength. I will be attending NAM, so maybe I can talk to some manufacturers there. It'll be cool to meet the Theowani people because they sent me, sent me this mouthpiece, and it's it's a great mouthpiece. This could be the reed I've been playing for like six months. That's the other great thing about these is they really help your reeds last a really long time. <laughs> It's just a little bit too stiff. I can't, I can't push it. And like, I still feel like I'm fighting a lot. Like there's a lot of back pressure. I have one other reed in here that I've been kind of fighting with. And I know for a fact that I bought a box of them that is too stiff. And that's these Rigardi Golds, uh, three mediums, so definitely way too stiff. Um, I thought I needed a stiffer reed, but I was totally wrong. But I'll show you what it sounds like. I've only played a couple of them out of the box. I think this one was like a good one. The others that I played were just not working for me. So this may be kind of a softer one in the box. <laughs> So to me, this feels like this in a higher strength. It kind of gives me the same sort of bright timbre-ish core. It's just cool. It's got its place. To me, it's got. It sounds a little too uh, New Yorkish. Um, or at least that's the way it feels. You know from where I'm sitting. I'm sure when I listen back to it in Logic, I'll be like, oh, this is actually a lot better and it's closer to the sound I'm hoping to always achieve. Yeah, I don't like the way on those low notes, it's kind of like a whole, it's like a whole kind of thing going on in the sound. And I feel like that's the result of this being too stiff. If the reed is a bit softer, um, then I could probably get it to speak a little bit better. of that yeah the only time i felt like i was on like a cool setup was when i was over at uh chris hunter's house and he let me try out his horn with my mouthpiece and he was uh man that thing was a mark 7 and it's like a different bore size than this and it was just like whoa like just the amount of air you can put through it i mean they're designed to compete against electric guitars and stuff they were like some, I guess they changed bore sizes when they got further along in the development of the horn. Yeah, it was so loud and so easy to breathe through. And yeah, really made me rethink this whole uh, 
9930 that I play on. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thanks for checking it out. Be sure to like, subscribe, give me a share, give me a comment, um, all that good stuff. Let me know what you guys think. All right, peace.